So you want to go to your first drift event, track event, autocross, whatever. This, I feel like, applies to just about everything that you are going to go beat the shit out of your car at. And for me, that is drifting. I love drifting. I fucking suck at it, though. But I'm getting better. I'm getting there. And today, I'm going to show you guys what should you bring to your first drift slash track event. So first things first, you're going to need, believe it or not, a drift car. You're going to need a, or not a drift car, but you're going to need a car. Be it a Mustang. Be it a Volkswagen. Be it another fucking Mustang. You're going to need a car. You don't want to go out and beat the shit out of your daily driver. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting two cars. Track car, daily. Me? I fucked up and I have three. So, I got my Volkswagen. That's my daily. I got my two valve. That's a drift bitch. And then I got the 5.0. I don't know what it really is because I don't drive it. I don't track it. It's more like a garage queen because it's just so goddamn pretty. But that's the number one thing you'll need. Get a car. So depending on what you want to do, that will depend on your car. So if you want to go to autocross, you know, front wheel drive will be fine. All wheel drive will be fine. But if you want to go drifting or rear wheel drive for autocross also, you can basically pick anything from that. Manual, automatic, little paddle shifters or manual stuff. But uh, say if you want to go drifting. Now, if you got, you got the big bucks and you want to drift the fucking 5.0, because even here at my local track, I've seen people with big money, but and have drift way more expensive cars than my five level. But me, I wasn't as fortunate back then, and no, I'm not gonna drift my 5.0 at the track. I got myself my little two valve, my little four and a half, insert crap here, my little four and a half grand car. Ran perfectly fine, drove perfectly fine, and once you decide what what you're gonna pursue, then you can start throwing certain modifications at it. So, like with my two valve, very first thing I did was, and this also depends on your chassis too, go into forums, read what other people have experienced with this car, with your chassis that you're going to pick, and see their experiences with it. See if there's people out there that drift New Edge Mustangs, or drift Fox Body Mustangs, or drift S197 Mustangs, or shit, even older. Or say if you wanna get a WRX and go autocross it. See if there's people out there, which there obviously are. Go and see if there's people out there that on forums have said, this is what you need first. And then this, and then this and follow those guidelines. That's one of the things I fucked up with drifting and with the two valve, I kind of just started doing my own thing and now I ran out of money and now I don't have any good parts and I have stock angle and no seat and I'm sloshing around and I can't get, I can't get good angle. <laughs> so make sure you read what people say. Make sure you take notes. Go to your local track event and start talking to people that have a similar chassis. All right, so my number two thing to bring to a track, and this is number two for me, because I live in Phoenix, and it's fucking hot, and it's terrible. A cooler. Bring a cooler. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you got big fucking money, and you can just throw racks at a fucking vendor at a track, and, and just get away with it, pay like $7 for a drink, then by all means, do that. I cannot. <laughs> so, I just load up a cooler, I put it in the trunk of my car, and I just, they, they'll say on their little website, oh, no fucking coolers allowed, fuck them, bring a cooler in. All right, so my number three thing to bring to the track is a jack in jack stands. 
Now, I kind of didn't know what to put first, jack, jack and jack stands or tools, but I feel like a jack is more important. May, I don't know. Help me out, guys. Tell me in the comments what you think is more important, jack and jack stands or tools. See, my reasoning behind jacks being more important were at least you can move, pick your car up and see if there's anything going on underneath. Maybe you can't be able to fix it, but you'll have a general idea of what's going on. Then you can call up your buddy or something and they can bring in tools and, and then you can fix it. I don't really know. But that kind of segues into the next thing. Tools. Get you a little one. Is, get the fuck out of here. Get you one of these little little tool sets. Cobalt sells this whole entire little toolbox, and it comes with a bunch of tools. All of these are missing, but I'm pretty sure these are torques or hex keys. I bought screwdrivers along with this because this kit did not come with screwdrivers, but it has spark plug sockets. It has all the sockets you need, 3 8 quarter, and half inch drive. And then they give you this little pocket down here where you can just throw in random stuff. Like I have hose clamps down in here. I have this. I have Allen keys in there fucking somewhere. Pliers and cutters and stuff. Just an extra pocket so you can just throw stuff in there. All right. My next thing to bring to the track or your first track day is bring some extra fluids. You never know what's gonna happen at the track. Your car might burn some oil, so bring some oil. Your car might throw some coolant on the fucking track, bring some coolant. Bring some, just bring fluids. You know, it's, you want to prepare yourself for things that you don't think are gonna happen. Your fucking brake booster might get too hot and just yeet out all the brake fluid. Don't know if that's a thing. Maybe you'll be the first one it happens to. But now that you watch this video, you'll have brake fluid and you'll be prepared for it. So, again, just bring fluids for your car. All right, the next thing that you want to bring to your first track event this arguably might be the most important thing for people who are drifting. A fresh set of tires to get home on. Obviously, these are not fresh, but these are just being used as an example. Get you some tires. Your first track event, or drift event, I should say, you're probably not going to wear tires down to like the, the uh, wires, but even then, and with all motorsports, you're putting your car through, or your tires, through a bunch of heat cycles. And that could cause marbling, and that could cause a whole bunch of things, the sidewall to get all freaked out and shit. And trust me, you don't want to be driving home on some shitty ass tires that you just beat the shit up on the track. Do I do it? Yes. But do as I say, not as I do, people. And the next thing, a little chair. Because whenever your class isn't out on the track, you can pop it up and just relax and watch. Take notes of the other drivers. And you don't have to sit on those uncomfortable ass fucking bleachers. Maybe a track don't even got bleachers. I don't know if there's a track out there that doesn't. But... A chair is definitely up there. <laughs> All right, everybody. I really hope this may have helped somebody out there. You know, maybe you're nervous about going to your first track event. And I was too. Um, I've been drag racing and I've been drifting. I haven't done like autocross or anything like that. But I personally was definitely nervous. And I was, I had all this shit going through my head like what if everybody thinks I suck what if everybody laughs at me I go out there in the very first turn I spin and I let that get to me and my first drift event was the funnest drift event I've ever had if I can be honest but 
I didn't learn as much as I could. So that's another thing to bring. I'm going to end this on, on one more thing to bring. PMA, a positive mental attitude. You're going to want to get out there. You're going to want to think, I'm going to fucking kill it. I'm going to be the best. Fuck what everybody else has to say, unless it's constructive criticism. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to have fun. And that's the thing you need to have. That's what track days are for, is for fun. They're not for going out there and beating yourself up about it. Because I've had drift events like that. And I just, I went to the track, got to the track. I didn't want to drift. And then on my way home, I just realized, wow, that was fucking stupid. And I actually did have fun, even though I beat myself up. So, just go out there, have fun, and have a positive mental attitude. I actually have a sticker on the two valves tachometer that says PMA for positive mental attitude. And that's it. I really hope this helps somebody. I really hope it did because this is the first like list video or first help video um, I've done. So I do plan on making more. So please like, comment, subscribe. Make fun of my sweaty ass face and have a fun ass first track day. <laughs>